Hello guys, welcome to the second part of the Road to NCS video series. If you haven't seen the first video yet, you should definitely watch it first. Today in the second part I will go into more detail about the structure of the chords and melody. Also how I built the intro and the verse of the track. Cause my track should sound as catchy as possible I decided to use the axis of awesome chord progression. Maybe you know the video of the axis of awesome. The point is that many of the biggest hits ever used the same chord progression. And that's the one I'm going to use for my track. Now the notes of the chords are spread very widely over the piano roll. But it sounds better when the notes are closer together. So I put them partially one octave further down. To get in catchy melody, it is important to consider several things. The most important are, make a kind of question-answer melody. If the melody goes up it is a question and if it goes down it is an answer. Build the first two bars of your melody. Copy and paste them in the third and fourth bar. The first and third bars should be the same or very similar. In the fourth bar you should make a change to the second. Choose a root note on which the melody is mainly played. Normally this should be the note from the key of your song. In my case it is G. The tierce and the quint harmonize very well with the root note of your melody. There are arpeggios in just about every NCS track, so I took different layers to get a full sound. With an EQ automation the ARP fades in. I also used a pad and strings to support the chords. For the intro I changed the main melody a bit to get more tension and I also made a second piano layer. I decided not to put any vocals in the track. To make the track exciting anyway, you can use single vocal shots with a lot of reverb. So that the vocal shots don't stand there so lonely, I let the piano chords and the bass play in the intro in the same rhythm. I also added a sweep down at the beginning. In the verse I used more chord layers that have this typical NCS rhythm that you can hear in many tracks. I modified my melody to this rhythm of chords to make it sound more consistent. I added a sub bass and a layer for the melody. Also I added drums and other effects.
Be sure to check out the next part. There it will continue with the build up and verse. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.